hello guys welcome into another video welcome into the new vlog thank you so much guys for being here to my returning subscribers to my returning viewers you guys you are the best thank you so much for coming back i really appreciate your support guys so this is the weekend vlog guys uh it started up on friday i was baking some scones guys i had this huge order uh, so I couldn't film the whole process. I got overwhelmed. Then Saturday, uh, I started up with. Uh, I had another cake to finish up to finish it up. So this one here is on a Sunday, guys. So it was a very hectic uh, weekend. My weekend, most of my weekend, I spend them in my kitchen, guys. As you know, that I run a business from home. I am a home baker. So most of my orders that are due for, for the weekend. So this is what will be going on in this vlog. With this cake guys, I started with it with the decoration last night, I couldn't finish so here it's Sunday morning, I was just doing some finishing touch ups, as you can see I'm almost done with it. Last night I was so tired so I didn't want to make any mistakes guys, <laughs> yeah the last touch ups need fresh energy so I just went straight to bed and I left everything in the kitchen just like that guys, it was so scattered, so yeah as you can see now as I'm done with the, with the cake decoration, this is the situation guys. After every cake order, after every baking <laughs> in the weekend, my kitchen just turns like this. I'm no longer stressing guys, I'm no longer getting frustrated, it used to stress me so much guys, see my kitchen like this, now I've accepted that weekend is business time, it's, it is gonna be turned like this one way or another because I don't have a helper guys, I'm alone, I do everything alone, so yeah we all start somewhere guys, this is uh, how it goes during the weekend my kitchen is a bakery it's like this
receiving this mess is so easy for me now guys uh, as i've learned the tactics of doing it you just take everything back to where they belong trash you take it to the bin and then you wipe the countertops and sweep the floors and mop then you are done <laughs> so back then uh, it used to frustrate me i'll touch this and up and down and at the end of the day i'll get tired and everything will be just a mess again uh, yeah after a long hours of just going up and down so right now i just uh, know like the easiest way to clean you just take everything wipe everything and put it to where it belongs throw away whatever need to be thrown wipe the countertop sweep and mop then you are good to go so let's do this together guys I started up with using the vinegar mixture then I realized that uh, there are lots of sugar stain as I was using buttercream and fondant cream there so I remember that I bought this Dettol uh, kitchen cleaner so it it did the job guys it removed all the greases all the sugar stains from the countertop left them sparkling clean and shining <laughs> multitask i'm going to start cooking right now and then at the same time i'm going to clear the dishes that side because it's a mess also then after i'm done with everything is then that i'm going to tackle the floors i'll uh, i will mop the floors after can you see that it is much better now much much better i can do whatever i want to do at the moment is cleared now 
the floors are not that bad though the hands i'm starting with the cooking and then i will attend to them later on this is the gown that i was wearing so let me okay i'll be cooking this beef steak i took it out last night to defrost i took it out last night to defrost so i'm going to be making it and then let me show you the other side of the kitchen so this is where i was putting those everything that i was removing on the countertop that side i was bringing it bringing it here so guys as i mentioned that last night it was hectic uh i was trying to catch up with the dishes that side and i failed i just left everything like that uh yeah i did try to multitask the dishes that i've done i managed to do last night here are they i'm just going to pack them away and then wash these ones in here so yeah this is what i will be busy doing at the moment while the pots are on the stove the other side One thing that I can advise you guys, if you are someone who love to start uh, working from home as a home as a home baker, yeah. Uh, if you are a mom or you are a homemaker, you want to do a, a side hustle with this kind of a business, you know what? It's, it is not easy. Yeah, it needs commitment. Uh, yeah, it needs commitment. You mustn't, it doesn't need someone who is lazy. You must be a hard worker to be able to do this kind of a job because sometimes especially when you are starting ne, uh, yeah you'll get these last minute orders <laughs> yeah you'll get this uh, because you will become this last option like you know when you are starting uh, when people they turn them down on the other side they will come to you as their last option so you must be always be ready yeah, if you want to make money in this business. So, yeah, that's why I'm saying it needs a hard worker. You must compromise sometimes, compromise your sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
And also, don't wait until you are having everything, guys. We all start somewhere. You see me, I'm starting here. I'm doing everything in, in my kitchen. One. So you mustn't say, you know, I wait. I'm going to wait uh, when I'm having a bakery somewhere, where, where, when I'm having a big stove, when I'm having this and that. You have to start. If you, you tell yourself that you want to do something, just start. Everything will just follow. Trust God in everything. Uh, yeah, as the customers come, you'll be also growing. It will also groom you. And then so that when you are getting a bigger space or a bigger stove, uh, you'll be matured. You'll be understanding the deals and the deeds of the business. So, yeah, we all start somewhere, guys. We have to start small uh and yeah in that process you'll be learning also so i'm also in a learning curve so yeah and i'm happy with the process the other tip guys practice 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 yeah the more you practice the better you will become uh yeah so also uh the fact that you don't have a cake order to make doesn't mean that you must just sit and wait you have to be busy practicing and then make some cake samples advertise on social media yeah you never know where your customers are guys so you just have to market yourself So this morning I had to tackle every area of the house guys but I will only share with you this part and then after I'm going to bath and then we are going to deliver the cake uh, this cake guys is for my sister remember I did share with you the other in other vlog where she was uh, where we attended her graduation ceremony and yeah I did mention that I'm gonna make a cake for her so this is the day guys uh we went and make a surprise celebration at my sister's place <laughs> I mean...